video and in today's video we're going to be going over how you can set up C Trader, what is C Trader, everything to do with C Trader from opening account, the installing process, logging in, adding your currency pairs, uh, putting on a trade, uh, managing that trade, analyzing your trades. Everything that you're going to need to know about C Trader is going to be in this video. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. So, what you want to do is you want to open up uh, Google and type in C Trader Download. Now, what you can do is just add your um, preferred broker after this if they have C Trader. Um, and yeah go from there I guess so let's do it with should we do it with Pepperstone or IC Markets let's do it with IC Markets why not um, so download C Trader oh this is a live account go on to demo so click on demo and then yeah let's fill this in so I'll be back with you guys in a second so once you've done that um, head over to accounts Click on open a new demo account and it will send you to this page. So then just select C Trader, select whatever currency you want, leverage, whatever you want, initial deposit, let's go 10k. Proceed. Um, open a new demo account if you have not already downloaded it. Go to downloads, so open the downloads thing. Over here, click on download. Okay, that's downloaded. Open it up and you'll get to this screen. Now, whatever your email is, put your email in. Whatever your password is, put your password in. So, well, now you are in the account. Let me just close all this down. Right, um, once you're in the account, you will see this, right? So just get rid of that and you will be open to this. Now yours won't look exactly like this because I have loaded this up before. This is what it should look like. Okay. Now let me open this up onto the bigger screen for you so you can see everything that's going on. This is what you should see. Okay. On the left hand side, you've got your watch lists. You've got all symbols. If you click on all symbols, it's going to bring up all of the symbols that are available for your brokerage. So let's click on Forex. Obviously, you're already on GBPUSD, but you can click and drag and it will open it up. Okay. Now, what else you can do? That's you know how you get your um how you get your symbol. Don't know why that was so hard to think of. Now along the bottom, you've got your positions, you've got your orders, your history, your price alerts, transactions, and your journal. Um, we'll get to all of that in a second, but let's set up some clean charts now. So uh, just tap on the little three bars in the top left, and the column should disappear, and it should open up your charts a little. Right click on your charts, come down to uh, viewing options and you can get rid of whatever you want to get rid of um, I'm just going to keep mine the same if we go into color options you can then change all of this as well um, so let's say we don't want a grid put the opacity down to zero gets rid of the grid let's get rid of uh, period up uh, tick volume deal map chart scale get rid of all of that that's also so something else that you can have is a background image you can click none and it will get rid of the background image default or you can put URL or a local file so let's just put one in so you've now got your background image as a GTR simple as that right let's um, so this is the chart that you want for example, I don't know why you would want that, but let's say you want that. Um, on the right hand side, I know you can't see it on my screen, but on the right hand side, you if you start at the top, you'll see add new chart. 
you'll see multi-chart mode. If we click on multi-chart mode and then add a new chart, let's go on to Forex, let's go to EURUSD. You will see both of these pop up. Now, one has your template, one doesn't. If you come over to your template and right click, click on template, click save new template and click um, GTR for example, save. Come back over to your other chart, right click template, GTR, it will transfer that over to this. So the good thing about um, the good thing about C Trader is if you hold your chart out, you can now move your chart around. And in the top right, you'll see closed chart and you'll see detached chart. If you click detached chart, it will pop up in a little window. You see how it's minimized everything now? Um, didn't really want that to happen, but whatever. So if you do this, you can then click on uh, maximize, which then means that you have now maximized your whole screen for one chart. You can also drag this onto other screens that you may have so that you don't need to pay for TradingView Premium, for example. Um, if you're using MT4, you're not going to be able to do this. Um, but on CTrader, you can. So you can have multiple charts on multiple screens doing individual things on individual time frames for free right now that's amazing on its own that's one of the main reasons why i really like c trader now i obviously have um trading view pro so i don't need it but if you don't have trading view pro this is something that you can use so for example um let's say you've got all your things sorted now and you want to buy gbp usd come over to um, the right hand side or left hand side and you should see that you've got all of your symbols here you've got copy automate analyze and on the right hand side you will have all of your kind of analytical um, analytical things right i don't know why i couldn't think of the name there but if you click onto layout and click on the little bit where it says activate panel symbol it will pop out this little screen here now it looks like there's a lot on here i know but if you just come up here where it says usd chf i don't know what it will say for you type in or click on gbp usd now all of this will change to GBP USD. Um, now let's go on to uh, stop loss, take profit. Now I can just type in, uh, let's type in 10 pips or minus 10 pips. And let's type in 20 pips as a take profit. Now you should be able to see that your balance is minus whatever percentage and you can reduce this and the percentage will go down okay so 0 0.01 i'm currently on 0 0.74 percent now i can put that up to 0 0.2 and it goes to 1.4 so let's hit place order okay so now i don't know whether you can see this but we've just had let me zoom in possibly can't zoom in Um, I'll draw it on here. So this is our stop loss line. This is our take profit line. That's so straight. Oh my days. Um, yeah, so take profit, stop loss, and entry is right here. Okay. Let's say, for example, I want to extend my take profit. I can click and just drag this up and down as I want to. I'll try and change the color of this so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Yep. So this is take profit. I can just drag that along and it says how much I will make right there. So I'll make seven pounds if this comes up here, 50 pips away, right? You'll also be able to see if you've placed a trade that um, we are now in profit. And it says that we are what two pips in profit 
and let me pull this all the way up here so you can see it as there were two pips in profit and we are currently sitting at gross uh 0, 0.0 okay we're now in the negative <laughs> didn't really help my point but um as you can see when i scale this the background is also changing um which is kind of cool um but let's say we have a profit of 100 pips okay you can click on the shield over here it's behind the snowman but it just looks like a shield next to your position and it will bring this little window up right so I can set four different take profits at, let's go 20 pips, 40 pips, 60 pips, and 80 pips. So let's, okay, let's get rid of the last one. So I can then click on, why is it not working? Okay, there we go. Let's say I want to do it at uh, 30 pips and 60 pips. So basically my position wasn't big enough to do it. You can now see that we have these two additional lines here. And when price automatically gets up to this area, it will, it will take off the amount that you've put in at this level. And I can move this along with my take profit as well. So once we get to this level, it's going to take off 0 0.01 lots. Same once we go up here, same once we get up here, right? I can also click on the shield and say move my stop loss to break even when we get to i don't know uh 30 pips apply so once we get to 30 pips it will automatically move my stop loss to break even and i don't have to do anything right how good is that um and it's showing me everything here if we go into the history as well it will show me what i will do actually is i will place just random trades and then we can analyze these trades afterwards. Um, I might already have some on here from previous testing. I don't know. I'll have to double check. But um, yeah, that's how you put on a trade, manage a trade. Now, there's a few more things that you can do with this, right? If we just scroll this up, you've got all this stuff over here. I can reverse my position, instantly reverse it. I can double my position and I can close the position all from here. So if I feel this position is going well, I can instantly double the position and everything will be, you know, adjusted to match that. Um, I can also reverse the position and it will do exactly the same. Uh, I can add positions, I can close all of my positions at the same time. Uh, it's the, the the amount of stuff that you can do on here is is really really good. Um, yeah, so let's say I wanted to take a little bit off, right? We can double click on the position here, and it brings up this little window. So this is current price. I can modify the order, and I can modify the position. So the position is obviously a live position. The order is a order that you've put on that is not live yet. You can modify that as well. So I can take off however much I want to take off. Let's say I want to take off 0.05 and leave 0.03 on. I can do that and reduce my position and scale out of the position. Um, I can also add to my position as well through that little panel. Um, but let's just say you're done with managing your trade. I'm going to leave it i'm going to leave this to do its thing um or i'm going to check my uh, previous history and we can come back and have a look at the analytics okay yeah i'm going to need to place some trades um so let me go on to uh, Okay, so I've just put on a load of positions, just random positions. Um, all of them are the same lot size, but obviously they're all different in uh, value. But um, yeah, just load of random positions. We can, let's double a few of these. 
Let's reverse a few of these as well. I'll reverse the GU one just to show you. So you see it's reversed now. Stop loss is up here. Take profit is now down here. Okay. Um, I'll also double the GU one and double it again. Um, yeah. So let's uh, let's see what happens at the end of this. Let's see what happens at the end. Please don't take this as trading advice. This isn't trading advice. I am not saying you should be doing this. This is purely to get examples to then analyze, right? This is not trading advice. This is not a trading strategy. This is completely random um, and you shouldn't, you shouldn't be taking this as trading advice. All I'm doing is showing you CTrader um, and showing you the platform. So it looks like every single trade is going to be a loser. Um, because I don't really want to be waiting too long for these trades to uh, to uh, take place. So maybe once they get into profit, I'm going to close that one. I'll close another one if it goes into profit as well. Close that one. Close that one. I'll, I'll close the rest of these as well. Right, let's have a look at my stats. Let's see if we have enough. Analyze. Okay, here we go. Cool. So, as you can see, we've started to get some data. Now, it's not a lot of data, so it's not going to be too good. But you can see um, Tuesday, today, we've taken five trades. Five of them were losing, and four of them won. Okay, this is our equity curve. Completely just straightly down. Straightly? It's not even a word. Straight down. Um, net profit, profit factor... 44% uh, win rate, so not too bad win rate to be honest with you, not too bad. Um, long positions 2, short positions 2, losing position or 2 winning, um, 5 long positions for short. You can also see it by currency pair, which currency pair were we most, most profitable on? We were most profitable on USD, SEK, um, GBP, USD and other okay so you can see all the stats here you can also see it by symbols how much we made short and long the total uh, amount of pips total net profit win percentage lose percentage for long and short as well we can see um largest winning trade smallest not smallest um <laughs> the largest losing trade the average trade total pips average pips all this kind of stuff in here. Um, there's quite a few things that you can do in here. Um, so yeah, I've used this in the past to analyze my trades. Um, it's a lot, lot, lot better when you have more data. But obviously, I'm not going to sit here and waste my time just putting on a hundred trades for no reason and then closing them. So you get the idea. Um, I'm showing you the potential of this. You can also automate. I haven't automated anything yet, but you can come in here and automate strategies. I've never done it, so I don't really want to go into it too much. But um, yeah. Uh, what else was I going to do? I think that's it, really. I think that's everything. Um, it also shows you stats on the right hand side if you're looking at your stats. Um, but yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you want me to kind of go into any more depth or if you have any questions, just let me know. But um, yeah, I really enjoy using um, CTrader. I think it's really, really good. If we actually just show you this for a second. You can drag out a load of different charts. And it will automatically populate your thing with them. Um, yeah, it, it, it's really good. I really, really like it. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Consider becoming a member. It's literally 99p. Um, but yeah, have a good day. If you have any questions, let me know. And I will see you in the next video.